May I mow, Pastor Brady. I hate it. And welcome back to another episode of Pete and D Theater. Theater. Today we're talking about Pentecost. How much does a penny cost? No, Pentecost. Oh, Pentecost! Now the reason we're talking about Pentecost is because this Sunday we're celebrating Pentecost. So what is Pentecost and what does Pentecost mean? Well, all Pentecost means is 50. And specifically it's counting the days between Easter and the day of Pentecost itself. We celebrate Pentecost because it marks the day that God sent His Holy Spirit to the Apostles. And He sent it in a special way, in the form of a rushing wind and tongues of fire which rested above the Apostles' heads. And when the Spirit came to them, they began to speak in tongues. Right, but they weren't speaking gibberish like this. <laughs> They're actually speaking real languages that people could understand their new linguistic skills to good use. They started to preach the good news of the gospel to everybody, and they preached it in a language that they could understand. And the people that were gathered there heard and believed. In fact, about 3,000 people came to faith that day. On Pentecost, we celebrate the miraculous outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the apostles that let them speak different languages. But that's not the only way the Spirit was at work that day. The Spirit was also at work in the 3,000 people that came to faith that day. Now, 1 Corinthians 12 tells us that no one can confess Jesus is Lord except the Spirit. What this means is none of us can believe that Jesus is our Lord and Savior by our own reason and strength. Right, it's only when the Spirit calls us by the Gospel, enlightens us with His gifts, and sanctifies us that we can follow Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. It's only with the Spirit's help that we can do this. That's how the Spirit was at work in the 3,000 people that came to faith that day on Pentecost. It helped them believe and it helped them confess that Jesus is Lord. And the best news is, is that God continues to send His Spirit today. He sends His Spirit all over the world whenever the Gospel is preached. No matter what language the Gospel is preached in, God works through His Word. That's what happened on the day of Pentecost. We hope you learned a little bit more about what Pentecost is and why we celebrate it today and how God continues to send his spirit to us. But that'll be it for us. Until next time, will Please you pray, pray with us? us? Dear God, we thank you for sending your spirit so that we might confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen.